Uh, morning. My name is Sean Roberts, Chief Technologist for Lincoln Network. And this is Lincoln Shorts. I have with me Jordan Fuchs, um, Deputy Secretary of State for the um, for Georgia. And uh, we're asking questions from the prospective voter. And um, here's a, a very common one. What should the voter do if the voting center or polling place, um, two different styles, are uh, is congested? Um, now, this apparently um, is going to be a, a more of a problem than it is normally due to uh, most states having rules in the books around um, their minimum distance between people in the line. So perhaps this even is the perception of it being congested. So Jordan, uh, uh, what what's the situation in Georgia? So we are seeing record turnout in early voting. And so early voting, we do have a vote center model here in Georgia where anybody within that particular county can go to any of the locations um, within that county. So you are not forced to go to a singer, singular location. What we're seeing and what we definitely saw on the first day of early voting was everybody went to the most popular location and stood in line for hours. And right. uh, many of the local officials asked voters, hey, you can vote anywhere in this county. If you just go a mile down the road, there are no lines. So if right. you are seeing a lot of congestion during early voting, you have the opportunity to vote for three weeks, you may consider a different day, or you might consider a different location within that county. So do those uh, voting centers close down uh, the voting day in, in lieu in favor of the polling places, or they stay open? So some of them stay open the day of the election, they just sit, uh, switch out their process. Okay. So um, uh, some stay open, some close down, and then more locations are opened the day of the election, so in November. Uh, for example- that's, that's county to county though. That's unique to each county, not um, within the county. They have their own rules within the, each county. So, e so yes, counties run elections in Georgia. Uh, as much as people think that the Secretary of State is personally plugging in voting machines and counting ballots, that is <laughs> not the case here in Georgia. And so counties run elections. That means that they're, de they're de making the decision on how much equipment is in those polling places, where the polling places are, and how much of the county budget is being allocated. So that is not a secretary of state function, that is a county function. I guess that's, that's actually an excellent point to expand on a little bit. Um, in majority of uh, states, and I, it sounds like what you're saying, Georgia is, is uh, very similar, is uh, the secretary of state is more of a supervisory position and a funding position where the, the counties actually have uh, the day-to-day -day managerial duties to um, implement and execute and certify or to present the data for certification to the Secretary of State. And then ultimately it's the Secretary of State's responsibility to um, officially certify. Is that is that accurate, the election results? The county is a certify and then we upload that information. Ah, I apologize, I got that slightly wrong, but okay. Uh, and this has been Lincoln Shorts. Uh, Thank you.